Hello everybody, welcome back to Anderson's TV. I'm Pete. I'm the captain. Before we go on, please like and subscribe. Yes. You might win a real clone. And uh, what, what was the other one? If this likes, get 5,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> 5,000 likes or whatever. Anyway, whatever. Um, so I don't know if you've seen any of the videos we've done where I picked my gear for under 1,000 pounds. Oz picked his gear under 1,000 pounds. Rabia did. All the videos will be up there. Yeah. Dave, and today, CC, Dave, John, CC, John, John Connan. Yes, that's right. There's so many. So he was trying to get a, just escape the whole thing. So like, I don't do gigs, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So today, Lee, it is your turn to pick gear, a rig for under a thousand pounds. Well, thank you so much. So we're pretending. So I've kind of I'm driving past Andersons on this way to this uh, gig that I'm doing. Uh, an Andersons delivery van has crashed into the back of me, destroyed all the gear in the back of my car. Is that, was that what we're and pretending? I'm running into Andersons uh, on a very limited time schedule and yeah. budget to replace my gigging gear for a thousand pounds. Now I'll give you a thousand pounds. I'll maybe give you plus minus a little bit. <sighs> You know. I haven't gigged for some time, but uh, you know, people. Your birthday? Uh, well, that's true. I did a little impromptu uh, thing yeah. at my birthday. But yes, I in my uh, teens and 20s, I was in bands and I did the gigging thing. In you fact, were. here's a photo on screen now of me oh playing at the God. Mean Fiddler in one of the bands that I was in. The Mean Fiddler? And I look a lot you younger. You wouldn't get away with a name like that for a pop today. <laughs> the yeah, Mean you, Fiddler? No, Fiddler. It's not, it's not a, you know, miserable. What's the next up? Is it? <laughs> anyway, oh. no, so bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now I know when I used to when I used to gig, I was a terrible, um, probably <laughs> slightly lacking in self confidence and things like that. But I used to. I, I used to need to be able to go, oh, I just need to adjust this on my amplifier. Just Pretending, basically, this. yeah. Yeah, and then you, I'd mind. You made up for it. You made up for the... Uh, so I kind of know that I want a simple yes. rig. I, I'm not going to do a, a John Connon and go multi-effects or anything like no, that. No, an NFR, FR cap. It or... frightens me that I couldn't just you know, adjust the chorus and what if you spilled something in a beer into that thing and then all your sound would be gone? Do you know, if somebody said to me on that, because I posted that, I posted some pictures of me gigging from many, many moons ago and they were yeah. like, what rig did you have? Yeah. And it was like, I, I could see the guitar I had and I remember that. And I kind of remember having a couple of different combos. Uh, one was like a solid state Fender thing and a little valve Marshall thing. And then people were saying, what pedals did you have? And I was like, I'm not even sure I had pedals. I think I just had the channel change thing for the amp. Like I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me that like Ground as a gigging and all guitar player, you would yeah. actually have pedals. I had so, DD5 that I split into the two amps. That was, that was how I split into it, whatever. But you were reason, presumably reasonably like, not pro, but like- No, but I, the gear I had was all terrible. Really? I had to pay for so, it all myself, remember? So I know that <laughs> what I want uh, to start with yes. is I'm going to go with some sort of HSS Strat. Okay. Because for me, let's go. I still kind of feel like the HSS Strat is is the most versatile. And you have a thousand pounds. Well, I'm not going to spend it all on the guitar. I no. know I want a little valve amplifier. And actually, the little valve amplifier in the Andersons catalog, there's one that's so stand out for the money yeah. that almost everybody ends up yeah. choosing it in these things. In stock. And then I'm gonna try and put some pedals together. So three or 400 pounds on the guitar, three or 400 pounds on the amplifier, spend the rest on pedals. That's my That's a good, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a good way to think about it. So what's the, okay. So the Larry Carlton yep. S3, Great without guitar. a doubt, that's in the mix. That is a Absolutely. definite. Yeah. The GNL, HSS tribute yeah. is wonderful guitar for the in money. the mix. Yeah. Ticks a box. Left handed. I thought they were dearer than that, those GNLs, but that's a great price for that. I can't say anything bad about Yamaha Pacifica, but stylistically it's not really me. A bit, uh, contemporary. Uh, if we had either of these classic vibes in stock, oh yes. I would use those, but we don't. But that's okay. That's very I'm cool, that brown one, isn't it? Again, right. So there aren't loads, are there, in that kind no. of um in that price, would I? Would I? I can't see myself being, you know, Ibanez SA. I don't mind that actually. SA is is probably one of the. But I, yeah. Um, let's, as if by magic, uh, bring into the room uh, oh, yes, an S three by Larry Carlton Sire. Can I have a red one, uh, yeah, can. and that and that blue GNL. Yeah, one hundred percent. Great color. Ready? That one. Yes. Three, two, two one. one. Right. Glorious, 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 glorious. What can I ask you a question? I always I had a minute earlier when I was looking around like that and I was looking at the HHS strat. Why is this pickup straight? Why is it not angled like they are on a single so, coil? 
I'm sure I've seen some HSS guitars where the back I don't pickup think is I angled like a single coil. Because um, they have to angle the whole pickup to fit in with it. I don't know. Anyway, well, I, I get, just looked at it and went... Yeah. I mean, I guess the, on a single coil, the, the idea of that, because it's angled that way, isn't it? Yeah. So the idea is to... Is it angled that way? Now I'm going mad. Where's the strap? Yeah, it is. There is. Yeah, that's right. It's angled that way because yeah. the idea is to try and uh, get the bass string slightly further away from the bridge to just give it a bit more bass and a bit yeah. more fullness on that back pickup. Yeah. I think because humbuckers are naturally fatter and fuller anyway... And this is not, not split. So no, that's anyway. Anywho. Ooh. Two great guitars for under 400 quid, both of these. What have oh, you got? Satin, satin next, which is which is I like slightly uh, more satin the, the, than this the, one. The, the GNL looks like the, the the bigger guitar. I've always liked the trem system that GNL do. I mean, the Sire trem system is two point. Yeah, you've got three Good volumes, well. uh, two tones and a volume, only one overall I here. I think if, we'll have to remember if I plug this in. But I've got a feeling this might have the bass and treble. Yes, I think you're right. Control, got, whereas yeah. that's just anyway. Yeah. Right. So amplifier wise, let's get the iPad back. Yep. Um, but I suspect this is going to be a boring and predictable choice. What have we got here? Right. So of course, Katana. Uh, I'm sure 100%. Oh, it was a great choice. Yeah. 1200 watts. Wouldn't let me down. Nope. Uh, but you know I'm a sucker for valves. For a little bit of the valve warmth. Um, Bass, no thank you. The 55 watt Bugera Infinium is I could use that, but again, I kind of feel like I, I know I'm, I, I know what I'm going for here. Yeah. So this, there it is, there it is. So look, in fact, there you go. You got three amplifiers on that middle line there. Uh, all good amplifiers. Obviously, the THR's not That's a good amplifier. That's more money than that one. Isn't that mad though? The I THR's think, mo so four, I can have fifty a, quid. I can have a genuine twenty-two watt one by twelve valve amp, two channels with reverb. Yeah. For less than. A tiny little a tiny thing little that sits on your desk. Such good value, this Bugera stuff. So it is incredible. That is what I'm going to go for. Yeah. The rest of flicking I mean, you through could this have, you could, just sort you of could justifying go for it. The amp one and a cab one by twelve cab. You could, you could. It's you not know. really me, is it? No. Um, you I mean, could again, go for. I wouldn't do a modeling amplifier because I need to be able to just look at where the knobs are set and know oh, no, that's you my love sound. I'm not a big fan are. of like having to program stuff. That's just this for me. The little. Oh, here was the Marshall. This, maybe? this is what I was going to say before. It's like. That's a valve amp too. The, the thing, at 400 quid, I can either get the power and the speaker size that I want with a brand that's maybe unfashionable or less well known. Yeah, just take the brand it, off. It if looks I go like into the Marshalls or Fenders or, or any, even Laney's and stuff, I've, yeah. got to, I've got to essentially get some sort of like one by 10, five You pay for the best, thing. man. And it's just, I don't think yeah. I'm going to get away with that when I'm, when I'm you know, but... And you're not hey. going to do John, you know, uh, an FFR cap. F -f 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 I'm not going. Scotch I'm not going John Connon. Uh, what was that? What was that one? This little hat. What was that? Oh, that's, that's the DSL twenty okay. heads. Yeah, Again, I suppose expensive. to a certain extent, if you knew there was going to be a cab always available. There's the little. That's five hundred thirty. So that's too much. Oh, it's, no, it's three fifty nine. Oh, three. Oh, sorry. This, yeah, that's not uh, too bad. But you need a cab with that. But look, so. I mean, again, I was Vox I was AC looking at there is a you, you I could you know something like a Vox AC10 I was thinking about 15 even maybe. That's, sorry, is that uh, too much? AC15 I think is probably it's, it's at the expensive. top end of what we're yeah. we're looking at. I mean, I've I said this particular search that I've got here is all filtered around that sort of four to six hundred pound. Got the little sorry three to five hundred pound mark. X21 that's three forty nine. Oh, we're running out. Of, lots of these things are showing us out of stock now. Look, yeah. I'm going to go with the Bugera yes. Infinium twenty two. Um, so, so, as if by magic, I think it should appear right oh, here. Yes. One, two, three. Oosh. There it is. It's great, man. Is the spring reverb in here? Was it? A, is it? I think we decided it was digital. Okay, it's digital. Digital reverb. It comes with a channel with a little foot switch, so you can switch. So you don't even really need yeah. any. Yeah, I mean, look, we've you? done videos on these before. I know its strengths and weaknesses. It, it, its strengths are it does a decent volume clean sound. Yeah. It does the whole valve thing. It reacts great. The the overdrive channel, if I remember rightly, was a bit de la fizz. Particularly like like the hardware deluxe. Well, maybe even fizzier but, than that. Yeah. Um, and uh, if I remember rightly as well, bizarrely, when we did shoot this out against the 55. Now, the 55 is a 6L6 uh, power section. This is an EL84 uh, power section. A quite a lot of people, in fact, I think the majority of us actually preferred the 22. Yeah. Um, we've been selling Bugera amps for about two years Bugera. now. Bugera. <laughs> Bugera. And um, 
you know, for the five or so years or 10 years before we sold these, I was always slightly worried that because of the price point, there'd be a re- there'd be like this huge reliability issue with yeah. them, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, I, I can honestly can I say just, in, in the two yeah, odd the years way. that we've been doing them, the, the, the you know, failure rate on Bougera is no different to any other brand. It's just, no. you know, valves are by their very nature going to be um, uh, less predictable than solid state. But and also I, they I have this super great. cool uh, yeah. uh, valve thing. Like where a tube monitoring it. system. And you've got pentode or triode. I don't there. even know what that means, but it sounds that's good. The difference it's got an effects loop. Yeah. So that's what we're going to use. I think pentode Now, pedals one. wise. Yes. Um, oh, I'm just fiddling in the back there. I'm assuming this video is already out now, but the, the video that we did this morning, maybe it's up there, maybe it's in the description below, was Pete and I did a, what you know, like you, the five pedals for an essential pedal First board five, or something. Yeah. First five pedals, you're right. And honestly, so I kind of know that from this morning's video, the sweet cream is in and the angel wing is in. Uh, hang, uh, yeah, the sweet cream and the angel wing sound yeah. great. I probably know that the golden plexi that we used in that is maybe too much gain. In. Too much gain, okay, use. well, so I might here. use that. And the delay pedal was a bit too digitalo. And so what I one. wanted was the, uh, the gauss. Uh, more like I like modulated delays. I had a carbon yeah. copy on my board for a long time, which I liked a lot. So that's modulated delay, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm probably uh, let me rack my brains a bit for something alternative to the golden plexi. But I'm trying to spend about <coughs> yeah, it could be. I'm trying to spend about fifty quid a pedal here, <laughs> so that I end up with four hundred, four hundred, and two hundred quid for the pedal, oh, and I'm you know. Boom, thousand pounds. Yeah, and I'll give Straight you Straight on the, the old black Amex card. Bush. Um, but I haven't got a black Amex card, by the yeah, way. Amex, if you're watching, um, I'd like a black Amex And it's card. made out of metal, so it's as well. You know, the, the again, black Amex card is invite only. You can't, yeah, even, I know. You can't even apply for wow, one. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't decide, um, so I'll just shoot out a couple in this video. So okay. can I have a nobleman? And, oh, similar color, a kaffir lime. Merci for my Tone City endorsed <laughs> pedal board. Um, right, uh, let's wire this up and see which of the two guitars I'm going to choose. Blish! Right, I'm excited, Pete. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, so to finish this video, uh-huh. I've got to choose a guitar. Yeah. Decide whether to keep the Café Lime or the Nobleman in my mix and explore, get some tones. And explore. Stuff. So, Exploring is good, um, Let me start with the, GN, the GNL. I'm not super familiar with this amplifier, but from stuff we've done in the past, mm-hmm. I liked it a little louder, you know, as in I, I want to get the speaker moving a bit. And I like the gain channel with not much gain. So let's just no pedals at the moment. Let's just get. Sorry. It looks to me like that pickup that needs yeah, to come up slightly. I think we could do with, they've wound these, um, thank you, sir. They've wound these single coil pickups quite low. I mean, these again, these are made in Indonesia. I'm going to stab him with this <laughs> screwdriver in a minute. <laughs> yeah. uh, these are made in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> I kind of feel like if you're going to buy any guitar, really, that's sort of at the affordable end, it's worth knowing a few little maintenance yeah. tricks and tips, isn't it? Uh, so I'm going to just pump all of these pickups a little bit nearer. The, again, I'm not convinced with pickup heights and stuff like that, that there are uh, like hard and fast rules. No, there is because like, you can't go too close to the strings and the strings will pull down on, on the, ma- the magnets will pull down the strings. So you, can't, you have to not have it too high. There are... There are some rules to look into, but you know. True, but within, but Just most of everything is to, yeah. to taste, isn't it? Sort yeah. of. Um, and that, it actually cancel out the sound, actually, if they're too high. Yes, that's that's an interesting observation there, Mr. Yeah, Peter, yeah, or yeah, a little tip. Um, okay, let's just see if this is a little bit fatter sounding now. With the tone all the way down. And that's. I think that helps. Nice and snappy. Uh, position four. Slow dancing test. I can't remember. Really. Okay, I think I'm a bit out of tune.
so we're on position two. <laughs> So is that bass and twelve on this I, one then? I think so. It's it seems to have put <laughs> bass and treble on the knobs, isn't it? Yeah, that's um it's a nice playing guitar. It great sounds guitars. a bit um it's a bit brighter than I Though that's, I mean, that's just a great, you know, it's again, a great sound, affordable man. guitar, affordable amp. 778 quid. Uh, 89, 80, 80, 80, 80 98 it's, quid. This was 399, yeah, right? And this and is 399. Yeah, Okay, good good marks for the the trem system is good. Yeah, neck it's feels good. nice. Yes, I thought it sounded a little brighter, but then than I was expecting. Well, they are quite to... bright those guitars. I think that's just the circuit tree um, they they put in let's there. Let's try so. this. It's a great color. This is so reminiscent of my childhood. It's so fat this guitar. Yeah. Uh, I'm instantly. Torn. I mean, the tremolo system feels the same actually to, to to wobble. The neck has a very similar carve on it, but say si, I do this rolled edgy thing, which is just my bag. Yeah. And I just think the pickups sound great. Come on, let's play the riff, man. Don't be shy. This is good. This amp sounds good, man. So, on the amp, that was all on my clean channel. If I go to the overdrive channel, you can see I've got gain down. Even then, it's still a bit fizz, isn't it? Yeah. What did you press? The boost, that's, that's the, the boost. mid boost. Yeah. Uh, so let's take the gain down a bit more. And then we'll need to compensate with a bit more volume. And talent. Yeah, I think I would, uh, that's what I would do. I would use this, I would use the gain channel on this very low and then put gain pedals over it, I think, just to try and. I mean, I, for, without even any pedals, I could probably do any of the gigs that I did when I was a yeah. kid, because I only ever had a clean sound and a dirty sound. That was all I ever had. So anyway, let's just try Sweet Cream. Mm. Uh, sweet Creams and Made of Cheese. cheese. <laughs> Oh, what? Do you know what's so great? I mean, I, I know you will hate me, um, but valves, man. You just put pedals into valve amps and it's just like, yes. I don't actually know what the sweet cream is based on, but Sorry, the uh, Kaffir Lime is based on a tube screamer. <laughs> That sounds fine, but I think this is going to sound more my... This is the Nobleman, based on the o, uh, Nobles ODR. No. Sounds yes, great, sir. man. Yes, sir. So I'm going to turn the gain a little bit down on there and then see how the sweet cream goes into the Nobleman. Oh, dear. <laughs> Cool. 
Horus from the Angel Wing. I mean, again, chorus. Angel Wing, man. Do I get shot for playing the Prince thing wrong? Anyway. You know, I'm sitting here, Lee, and I'm getting the chorus from the front and the back here of the amp, and it almost sounds stereo. And it's here we go, modulated delay. Less, less repeats, longer delay. Go on. Le less sustain, more delay, but... Modulation on modulation, Lee. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, that's my rig. So Kaffir Lime's going. Okay. I don't know if we actually physically need to remove it or if we no, just No, we go. do not. So that would be my, uh, you know, perhaps we need a little counter on screen as to how much I've spent. So Sweet Cream, Nobleman, Angel Wing, Gauss uh, Tape Echo. Yeah. Bugera V22, Sire S3 it's in a, it's red. It's a great choice, man. Uh, I'm just going to literally play uh, I know, I tell you what I haven't tried yet is again, if I was overdriven, do I my pedals just... little bit I think do I prefer just I think I just prefer clean. Thousand pounds sold to no, the man a without the black Amex card. Uh, that's it. See, man. Links like below to all these. Yeah. Let's do that again without talking over each other. Yeah, sorry. Links below to everything that we've included in this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel. We would love you a long time if you do. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye.